Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode we uh, came to Hollow Bastion, we fought with Riku, got our Keyblade back, got our friends back, our Fairweather friends back, and we are confronted with a door. A locked door? Impossible! Well, we gotta find the four keys to open that door. So, break pots, just like in Zelda. And go into the library, just like in Zelda? I don't know, there wasn't a library in Zelda. But here, yeah, there's a book lying around. So it's Kama Volume 8. What's the item description for that? An ancient tome containing illegible, illegible script? Is it, if it's illegible, that means it's just bad handwriting. If it's unreadable, it means you can't read it. Okay. So, it's the classic, you know, put the book in, or, or rather it's pull the book out and that's a lever, or something like that. So, it's... This entire level is just a bunch of puzzles. Puzzles to solve. And it can get kind of confusing at times. I'm lucky that I just played this game so many times that I know what needs to be done. What? Spin it properly. Yeah, this thing spins, but you can see that there's a chest there, but... You can't access it yet. Can't remember how exactly you're supposed to do that. But yeah. Oh, this book's in the wrong place. Someone was colorblind. So we got Mava, and we can put in Theon. That will open that up to reveal the button. This button unlocks the door over there. So that's the main puzzle that we need to take care of. But there is still more books that need to be put on the shelves. So this one actually works. So we can open this, get a Mega Potion. Alright, we have the green book. Which I think goes in here. Yeah, we can put Mava Volume 6 over there. Take the blue book. Salig. So we can read the title, but we can't read what the inside is. So maybe it really is illegible. Hmm. People need to be more careful when writing books. How did they get published? Alright. Oh wait, there's another one of these spinny things here. I think there's a book on this one. No, just another chest. That I... Yeah, there we go. Open this up. Get an elixir. Gotta find the rest of the books though, gotta find the other green one. I think it's in that chest. Nope. Then it's over here. Uh, or that's another chest that I can't obtain. Oh wait, no, there it is. Green Trinity, of course. Alright. And this is Azal. They said that the books. Oh, that's the end shelf. Where's the A shelf? What? What? Why? Oh, here it is. Okay. What? <laughs> you guys were already there! Alright. Am I missing something? Did I pick up a book that I haven't put in yet? Alright, I found it. It's just sitting here on the shelf. So we got Nahara, Nahara. Nahara goes in the end shelf. And behind the end shelf is this shelf. Like, who normally puts a bookshelf behind another bookshelf? Like, you must really not like those books. All I gotta say. No, don't take that out. Damn it. Right, put this in. Yeah, there's a possibility of um, putting in the wrong, bo wrong book into the wrong slot. 
but whatever. Can open that up. And there's the purple book on the desk that's also hidden behind a bookshelf. Must not like that shelf, I guess. So if you recognize this spot right here, this is where Kyrie's grandma was sitting telling her that story about how darkness was born. So people who have darkness in their hearts really want light? Then why is everyone in this entire, like every antagonist here, just talking about the power of darkness? Darkness is awesome. What's that, what's that chest doing up there, huh? Get down here. Have some gravity. Alright, so they couldn't do an animation of us going onto the elevator, so we have to teleport onto it. I always found that really stupid. But, you know, video games. So we have to wait for this very long cutscene to show us exactly where we're going and how we're getting there. See, like, literally, like, is this really necessary? I guess this part right here is necessary, because we could have gone to the right instead of the left. Depending on, uh, well, well, we'll see later. So it's just wasting time. All right, so we're here. There's another chest up there. See ya. You can bring down and get Ultima G. I don't remember what Ultima G is, but it sounds pretty awesome. And I think on the other side is Holy G or something. Just skip through this. Yeah, Alright, so let's go back into the library and actually move on. Notice how we haven't done anything towards opening that door yet. You know, the door with the four slots. Well, we can do that pretty quickly here. You examine this thing and it says, Show me your crushing power. Okay. Uh, activates the statue, which makes this statue spit out what looks like torn panties. Uh, these candles are not lit, so let us light the candles. Luckily, the fire locks onto the um, to the candles, so that you don't have to aim it that well. That well. So if you charge this, it breaks, and there's the the green piece in there. Right, and here I think you just gotta push it. And that creates that chest over there, you can guess what's inside of that. Fire. Um ha. This is all right. Fire. Okay, and I think there's a couple more candles. Has a thunderbolt on it. Let me just quickly. All right. So the fire turns off that fire in the middle, and in order to get to it, we have to cast thunder on this. All right. We could always just float to it, but those things are good to have. So we got the first emblem piece, second one, third one, and then the chest. Yeah. fourth one. Alright, so now we can open the door. This game's all about opening doors. The door to darkness is open. The door is open, Sora. Now we can go to the outside world. Gotta open the door by putting the key. I am the key. I fought my way here with the keyblade, opening doors to other worlds. I opened a lot of doors in Agrabah. Why? It was mine. Know this. The heart that is strong and true shall win the Keyblade. What? You're saying my heart's weaker than his? For that instant it was. However, you can become stronger. 
You showed no fear in stepping through the door to darkness. Door, there it is again. It held no terror for you. Plunge deeper into the darkness, and your heart will grow even stronger. What should I do? It's really quite simple. Open yourself to the darkness. That is all. This guy's weird. Let your heart, your being, become darkness itself. We should have a drinking game. For every time someone says darkness, take a drink. Ah, oh, great. I don't want to deal with you. I want to go through the door. Alright. So here we are. We can take this lift or we can active. Oh, shoot. Alright. I've had enough of you. Yeah. So we can take these guys out. Look at that. Each one of those defenders is worth 120 points of experience. Two upper level. Okay. Oh, whoops. It's not what I want to do. Go, go back. Alright. So that I think that affects the destination of this place. So okay, well, that goes up. And over here there is another chest. I should hotkey gravity to me. Blizzard and fire. Choose wind. Actually to switch those two, I'm used to. Square being wind, triangle being gravity. Let's open this up. Original come. What is that? Like I've never heard of an original come before. Maybe I should actually read the description. Items. A rare and most valuable ore. That doesn't help. A gold is rare and valuable. Um, what else? There's lots of rare and valuable ores. Unobtainium? Anyone? So now we can actually beat these things up with our keyblade instead of with a wooden sword. Did we give that back to Riku? He should have been fighting us with that. That would have been funny. Alright. Go to the waterway. See, this is where we were with Beast before. Since we fought our way here. Hold on. Oh god, Thunder Magic doesn't do anything to these guys. Ow! Yeah. These Heartless are very strong, both physically and magically. There's these things. These are wizards. Um... The wizards can are resistant to all kinds of magic except for like gravity and stuff. Gravity and stop. But they are uh, immune to all elemental magic. So that makes Donald pretty much useless against them. Is there any chest over here? So we got our mithril there. Go back to the waterway. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's something else here. Yeah, if we can go down to the dungeon by stepping on this one. Ah! Shoot, close quarters, not good, not good. Ow! Yeah, these little... These dark balls just derp around, that's what they do. Oh, don't do thunder. Gravity. Alright. And there we go. Oh, what? God. Yeah, this is going to be a very long uh, world. Most worlds took me, what, two videos to complete? This is going to take a very long time. Ooh, Trinity. Because of all the little... I'm going to be doing all these little side quests and stuff. But I'm, I'm getting through a little bit of story in every video, so I guess it's net positive. Can't carry any more of that. Why do both of these have float Gs? Alright, oh wow, I'm over here. Yeah, see, now we're back over here. So, what can I do? What am I doing? Anyways, let's get out of here. Alright, jump up. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah. Well, they knocked me into the lift stop. This isn't where I want to be. I want to go back down. I want to get back to where I was. Ah! No! What the hell? God damn it. Alright, let's try that again. Now let's reflect this back at him. And destroy him. Alright. Atta guys. Alright, so the wizards. These ones are annoying as well because they do a, if you don't kill them in one combo, they do a little bit of a teleportation. And it's really annoying because they also do this little thunder magic thing. See, look at that. They disappear. And they show up somewhere else. Here. And then wherever they show up, they tend to start doing thunder magic at you. And it's like constant thunder for like five seconds. Thunderbolt coming down. You'll see it. And then when they're doing that, you can't hurt them. Although I am pretty, pretty leveled right now. So if I examine this... This thing takes me back up here. That was a good 20 minutes wasted, almost. Yeah, tech points. Ow! Ooh, I learned Vortex. Let's check that out. Abilities. Sora. Vortex. Close the distance to nearby enemies with this powerful spinning attack. I'll take that. If in you please. And let's give myself some treasure magnet. Goofy has a lot of health right now. So you can kind of see what the, uh... What the... Ah, oh, man, missed. What the health bars are gonna do? Like, they're gonna wrap around until they get directly below our portraits. And then they are... Yeah, my magic is completely useless. There we go. So yeah, so it's gonna wrap around and then it's gonna go in a straight line. Just extending until forever. Ow! So these here are the wyverns, I guess, what they're called. And the wyverns, they are very annoying to deal with because, especially in this area, they're o they're usually over pitfalls, so you can't hit them with your keyblade without falling down and you know having to do extreme backtracking. And that's assuming that you kill them at all. No, not that. Alright, so now we got Dalmatians, we can float on back. It's a good thing I activated the other lift before. Oh, you can easily make your way around by gliding. See, I can make it all the way to this chest. Open it. Get an Orichal come. Fall down on this platform. Open this chest. Get the Holy G. Holy gee! Wilker's Batman. Alright, and now we can activate this. That brings us up here. Where we can activate this giant arena of death. Funny, because you just have to sit here and wait for a while. I like to glide. You see, like... This relates to physics. Vector physics. Where you're just like, oh, you're traveling in the same direction of motion. So your relative motion is lower. So, like, I can make... To make it from this end to that end is slower than to make it from that end to this end. I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it stops in the middle and you have to take out some enemies. What's annoying is that your teammates actually get in the way of defeating the wizards. Because... 
because like you're trying to pull a combo on them and you know they get in the way so it ruins your combo like you miss a swing or something so you kill a few enemies and then you can make it make the lift move on to the end this takes forever though it's kind of annoying that being said this is a really fun level and it's very well designed too background though isn't too spectacular it's really just a bunch of mist it's atmospheric it's, it's appropriate but it's not as impressive as the Neverland background. Trinity. Alright. Let's dispel G. Go to the lift stop. Is there another chest up here? No? Alright. So, yeah, so we're just basically working our way up the castle. Up onward and upward. As they say. Oh, excuse me. I just drank some milk. Because the milkman's coming on Tuesday. And I haven't finished all the milk, so we can't put the bottles out. And yes, we have a milkman. That's a pretty cool thing. We got him a few weeks ago. I don't know if I already mentioned this, but... Yeah, we got a milkman a few weeks ago. He delivers milk. And other things if we order them. But we just order milk right now. Get two half gallons in a glass bottle. Pretty amazing. Makes you feel like a G. I don't know why, but it does. So you just saw the vortex there in action. If you attack when... Um... If you attack a ground-based target who's kind of far away, like right here, you swing, you spin around so that, like, you hit enemies that are around you. See that? Uh, I think this, yeah, this lowers that end. You need to do that. Ooh, chest. We get a Thundaga ring, so now I got Firaga, Blizzaga, and Thundaga. So, we have all the elemental rings. Ouch. Okay. So I'm gonna try doing something. If I activate gravity in the middle of everything... I can... Yeah, you can only hit one enemy, or at least I think you can only hit one enemy with gravity at a time. Actually, no. You can hit multiple ones. It's just that... My gravity spell isn't strong enough yet, because I know when I was playing in the Coliseum I against some black fungus, black fungi, I uh, used gravity against them and killed them all in one hit, because my magic was so strong in Final Mix. Where is he? Ooh, shiny crystals and bright crystals. That's what these enemies drop, they drop crystals. Shiny crystals, bright crystals, and lucid crystals. Alright, so again, you have to you constantly have to be killing everything. Even if you don't like resorting to violence, you have to kill everything. Ah, and they just keep spawning. But we're almost at the top of the castle now. This, this is the last uh, stretch. Alright. Let's bring this guy down. Come on down. And we get more Dalmatians. Those are the last three. I mean... I think. Let's check. Journal. 101 Dalmatians. Oh, we still got three left. Three in Hollow Bastion. Go figure. Once we finish those three, then we'll have all the Dalmatians. And we can go back and get our final reward. Shoot. So you activate this crystal. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do! Oh wow, that was close. Let's 
strike rate. Wow, oh, that that works. Strike rate works against them. Cool. Noted. I didn't know that before. Right. And this. Shoot. I want some Sonic Blade. Give me a Sonic Blade. I hate how this ability doesn't automatically lock onto enemies. Get him! Oh, let me do strike. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta use your magic. Man, we're running low on time. What happened? What did I just do? Oh, okay. Yeah. That turns the thing so that that lift stop that we took all the way back when goes in the other direction. We get a mega, mega, mega elixir. Just heal Goofy up and just notice his health is low. Because I'm a good friend. Unlike Donald. Alright, you want some of this? Ow. Kind of unnecessary to use gravity twice, but you know, sometimes you just want to do certain things. So, I see the path has emerged at last. Yes, the keyhole to the darkness. Unlock it, and the heartless will overrun this world. What do I care? The darkness holds no power over me. Rather, I will use its power to rule all worlds. Such confidence. Ooh. Oh. Hey, that's what I said. Ah, impossible. The princesses of heart are all here. It must be her. Without her heart, she will never be able to release her power. The king's fools are here. I'll deal with them myself. You stay here and guard the princesses. You walk very slowly, Maleficent. Very slowly. Anyways. I'm gonna stop the video right here. Before we have to go into another long conflict. Because we're just about hitting 30 minutes. So tune in next time and we find out about that weird keyblade that Riku's holding. And what's up with his voice? As well as, well, we need to give Maleficent some time to walk on over here. So until then guys, give me a like, a subscription, that is very greatly appreciated, and thanks to everyone who has subscribed so far. Until next time.